All right, what's up guys? It's TRO back with some more Cardinals news. And sorry for being late on this news. Um, you know, obviously I didn't have the time to do it, but here I am right now. So some recent news as of yesterday, head coach Cliff Kingsbury announced that Antonio Hamilton is officially the CB2 and Marco Wilson has officially gone below Antonio Hamilton. Now, I mean, I saw this coming. Uh, a lot of people, including myself, thought that when he was drafted, he wasn't going to do so much. His rookie season was flat-out garbage, and his preseason game against the Bengals was just flat-out ridiculous. Like, I don't know who was worse, him or Zayvon Collins. Like, both of them sucked in that game. But, you know, it's for the best. Antonio Hamilton should have been taking his spot on the defensive secondary. Um, it was, you know, eventually bound to happen. We're talking about trading for another defensive back. So, you know, obviously Marco Wilson's time here was coming to an end already. Uh, when we do trade for a defensive back, though, I pray to God we trade him along with that package. Uh, a team that's rebuilding maybe, a team that is really that desperate for a defensive back. But, you know, business is business. It was the right move. Marco Wilson is just not, he's not the right guy. I mean, he gave up almost perfect completion percentage and in single coverage, he was just flat out one of the worst guys I've ever seen in like on our team, like ever. Like you had guys like Odell Beckham. Uh, there was a couple receivers on the lines that were tearing him apart when we lost to them. I mean, like shit, dude. This guy, like, and trust me, I wanted him to play super good, but god damn, dude. Like this dude, just he, he was not good. He's just he sucks. And you know, I'm glad that he's finally being benched now, or at least. He'll be the DB3 now, but, you know, who knows? Maybe we may still play him a little bit against Baltimore, maybe even the third game against the Titans if, you know, we still don't really know what we're doing. But our defensive back unit is still not really as good. It could be a lot better. Um, but, you know, we'll see what Steve Kime can do when he talks about trading for a big name out there, or not really a big name, just a defensive back that we really could use. Uh, so let me know what you guys think about this news. It was, you know, like I said, it was going to happen eventually, and I'm just glad it's happening before the season starts. But once again, let me know what you guys think about this news. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and sub up if you're new to the channel. But anyway, guys, that's all I got. See you in the next one. Peace out.